Hello, I'm Sean Munger. I'm That History Guy, and I teach history courses online. This is another in the Thoughts series, where I use the process of history and the tools of historians to weed through various fakes, scams, and false impressions about the past. Previous entries in this series include, uh, I did a video on fake history and in general, and then also one on ancient aliens. Today, I want to talk about one of my all-time favorite historical scams, uh, the so-called money pit uh, on Oak Island, Nova Scotia in Canada. This is going to be a series of videos. I did a series about this on my blog, seanmunger.com, uh, last summer, and it's proved to be very, very popular. So it seems like there's some demand for knowledge. Straight talk on this subject. Let's cut to the chase, especially since this is going to be a series of videos. There is no treasure buried on Oak Island, Nova Scotia. If there ever was, and I have serious doubts that there ever was, it's certainly not there now. Now, I know there's a very terrible History Channel, quote-unquote, documentary uh, reality TV show, uh, in, in, in actual fact, about Oak Island that perpetuates this legend. Uh, I haven't seen that show, for the record. I have no intention of doing that. But if you look at the historical record... Uh, and more importantly, if you use logic and critical thinking, it's very clear that there is nothing of particular value buried under Oak Island to find. Now, I realize by saying this, I'm uh, going to make, probably make myself unpopular. It's fun to believe in buried treasure uh, and fantasies on this uh, order strike chords in all of us that go back to our childhoods and are parts of our deep identities. I, I realize that. So explaining why there's no treasure on Oak Island, despite alleged searches for uh, such a cache going back more than 200 years, uh, is in one sense it's a fool's errand because no one wants to believe that there's nothing down there. That's not the conclusion that instinctively we want to reach. But we live in the year 2018 and we're being daily bombarded with falsehoods, spin, and fake history. If truth is something that we still value, and I think it is, I think it's worth telling the truth about Oak Island. And in any event, it's still a really interesting story, uh, as well as a fascinating puzzle of logic and historical analysis. Oak Island in Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia is fairly small. Uh, here is a satellite image of that island. Uh, most of the treasure hunt action has occurred uh, on the southeastern end, which is the light-colored splotch that you see uh, in the photo. Here's how we know that there's no treasure on Oak Island. Uh, I'll be dealing with all of these factors in depth in this video and the three additional videos that will follow, but basically here are the highlights. First, the flood tunnels, believed to be blocking recovery of the treasure, have never been found. No flood tunnels, no treasure. Period. End of story. Second, there is no physical evidence of an elaborate treasure infrastructure on Oak Island. Lots of people think there is that evidence, but there isn't. There are some engineering works on Oak Island that appear to be very mysterious at first glance, but they're not connected to buried treasure, and I'm going to explain why we know that to be true. Third, reliable documentary evidence of the early treasure searches, where much of the proffered evidence for treasure was supposedly discovered, documentary evidence of these early treasure hunts does not exist. Fourth, even if the legends are true, it's not logical that whoever buried the treasure would have abandoned it. In other words, if there ever was treasure there, it's illogical to assume that it's still there now. Before I get to explaining each of these points, it's worth sketching out what the legend actually is, because it's invariably where story believers in Oak Island treasure start, uh, and they don't often make it farther than that. So let's go through the background of the legend itself. It's difficult to know exactly where to start talking about Oak Island, because there's no one story, there's no one single set of allegations that agree with each other about how it started and about what supposedly happened in the past. I first encountered this legend in 1991 when I was an undergraduate, college undergraduate studying history. I came across it in a book, in fact, this book, uh, very fun and uh, but fact-challenged book 
uh, called The Encyclopedia of Unsolved Mysteries by Colin and Damon Wilson. And this book has the usual uh, stories of, you know, Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster and that sort of thing. Uh, this book by Colin and Damon Wilson was a lot of fun when I first read it 27 years ago, longer probably than many of the people watching this video have been alive. Uh, this is a really fun book, but it's very seriously fact challenged. Uh, incidentally, I lost the dust cover a long, long time ago. I don't even know what the dust cover looks like. Um, but anyway, that book ignited my interest in Oak Island. Uh, the Money Pit article, which is actually one of the shortest articles in that book, is was easily my favorite because it's the only one that seemed like it could actually be true. So just for purposes of choosing one narrative about Oak Island, I'll stick to the one that is uh, detailed in that book. So according to them, uh, the Wilsons, in 1795, three teenagers named Daniel McGinnis, Anthony Vaughn, and John Smith were exploring Oak Island, an uninhabited island in Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia, when they noticed a depression in the ground beneath an oak tree, which is usually said to have an old rusty piece of ship's tackle hanging from one of the branches. They started digging and encountered several platforms of oak timbers, each 10 feet below the start, uh, each 10 feet below the next. Uh, and this went down at least 30 feet. So realizing that something big was buried down there, uh, they abandoned the search, but uh, decided they were going to come back years later with a more well-funded and more well-organized expedition. Several expeditions, some with the involvement of members of the original trio, uh, are said to have occurred in the first half of the 19th century, usually dated 1803 or 1804, and then another in 1849. Supposedly, the expeditions uh, found the oak platforms that the boys originally found, and they uh, went down in 10-foot intervals, uh, for at least 90 feet. However, as the dig progressed, uh, the more the hole became saturated with seawater, um, occasionally rushing into the pit at, in, un, at high speed as if it was under pressure. People who believe in the legend universally state that this is due to flood tunnels, two flood tunnels specifically connecting the money pit, which is what it's called, the money pit site, to the beach. Uh, evidently, these tunnels were designed to thwart the recovery of whatever's buried there by anyone who doesn't know the secret of how to shut off the uh, flow of water. So this is the bare bones of the legend. There's a lot of other rumored details, such as a claim usually st uh, stated to date from the 1849 expedition that various wooden chests were found beneath the 98-foot level uh, and that a drill inserted underwater into the chests, quote-unquote chests, brought up pieces of wood and some small links of gilded metal, like a, a chain of some kind. There are also reports of stones found, either in the money pit or elsewhere on the island, bearing various inscriptions. Uh, most commonly, 40 feet below, 2 million pounds are buried, or something to that effect. All of the various legends and alleged details and discoveries uh, could fill a book, uh, and in fact, they have filled numerous books written on the Oak Island legend over the years. And of course, the television show that I mentioned earlier. While there are some commonalities, believe it or not, few of the reports agree absolutely on all these details. All of them are a little bit different. So first reason we know that there's no treasure. The flood tunnels have never been found. One feature of the legend that all the accounts do agree on, at least in general, is the existence of the quote-unquote flood tunnels, which pipe seawater into the money pit wherever anyone digs for treasure. Indeed, this is the linchpin of the entire story. The water pouring into the pit is the booby trap that confounds all attempts to recover the treasure. Every single expedition that to get the, the supposed treasure has at its core been a struggle against the water pouring into the hole. But there's just one feature which astonished me when I realized it. The flood tunnels themselves have never been located. Although they appear in every permutation of the Oak Island legend, no one has actually ever found human constructed channels leading from the traditional dig site to the beaches, which are some distance away in all directions. Uh, there was, I believe, one claim uh, of a flood tunnel discovery for the 19th century, but they can't be verified. Uh, that claim cannot be verified, and there's no physical evidence of it. Shouldn't this be easy? 
If you're digging a pit into the earth and you're being thwarted by an influx of seawater from two directions, some say three, um, <clears throat> shouldn't it be fairly simple to find the source of the water exactly where in the pit it's pouring into and then discover the channel that it's coming from? Especially since one would assume that the channel being human engineered would be lined with stone or a primitive pipe or something. That's the easiest thing in the world to, to find out, especially if you have these tunnels supposedly converging on a very small area. I mean, we're talking about a couple of square feet where you're going to look for a portal where the water is pouring in. That has never, ever been found. Uh, indeed, the existence of the flood tunnels themselves is taken entirely, and I do mean entirely, on faith. The only explanation I've ever heard for the failure to locate the tunnels themselves is that multiple treasure hunts over the decades have supposedly obliterated the original site discovered by Vaughn, McGinnis, and Smith, and that it's very hard to know where to look. Well, isn't that convenient? But here's the thing. Oak Island is not that big. If it's crisscrossed by flood tunnels, they have to be there somewhere. They're not, of course, because they do not exist. In the next video, I'll explain what engineering features do exist on Oak Island, but why they are not part of any treasure operation. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And my website is thathistoryguy.com. Thank you.